Okay, so now that we practiced and you were able to make this nice fold, um, this is a square fold for your book. You're going to need to have th at least three of those, okay? So if you're able to fold it nicely without, n without any extra creases and you got it um, done nice like that, you can take your paper that I gave you in the packet that you picked up from school. So this is a nice uh, nice paper and it's cut very neatly. So these are squares and um, let me see if I can move the camera up a little bit. Here we go. Okay. So um, this is your square and we're going to do the same thing. So you can start with the diagonal or you can start with a perpendicular fold. It really is up to you. I'm going to start with a perpendicular fold. So the first thing you want to do is fold this neatly. So you're going to put corner to corner, corner to corner, edge to edge, really neatly. And I, I hold it like this and then I press it down, make a nice crease. I can use my nail or you can use uh, a coin or some other object to make it nice and tight. This paper is a little bit heavier than the um, notebook paper. So I fold it one way. I'm going to open it up and I'm going to fold it backwards, not making another crease, leaving it exactly the same place and pressing it down. So now I have one crease. Now I'm going to do it the other way perpendicular. I'm going to do the same thing. Make sure your corners are aligned. Corner to corner, edge to edge, holding it down and I'm pressing it. You can use your nail or you can use some object, smooth object and press it down. <clears throat> now I need to do it the other way around. Turn it around, press it the other way. And I'm going to use this to make it nice and smooth. Okay, so now I have two creases and I'm going to have to do one more diagonal. So a diagonal, making sure that I'm putting the corner to corner, edge to edge. Make sure that the diagonal is right where the other two creases are. <coughs> Okay, here we go. I got the diagonal and I'm going to press this. Okay. Um, and I'm going to open it and I'm going to fold it the other way around. You need to stay focused to make sure that you're keeping this nice and neat. Okay, and that's it. Three folds. Okay. Now that's the hardest part now is to... I'm going to put it down like this and I'm going to press <clears throat> the center. Actually, I'm going to do it this way. I'm going to press down the center and then I'm going to take the diagonal fold and I'm going to put them, match them up like that and put them down. And I got one page. Okay. I want to go and press it. And that is one page of your book, okay? So you're going to have to have three of those, and then you're going to glue them together after you design the inside, okay? So if you notice, the inside of your page actually has, the inside of the paper actually has two square sides and, and four rect rectangles I'm sorry triangles so two squares and four triangles and this these are your pages so inside each paper you have one two three four five six pages okay so when you're designing your book the content of your book remember all the sizes of your pages that you have so you can um, use it wisely and that's it. If Once you figure out how to do this, you can do three of those or however many pages you have, how many papers you have, you should have at least four 
papers and um, maybe one you mess up, but you need to have at least three pages in your book. And that's it.